In this Madden 22 breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts of all time in Madden and in real life, how to create it out of trips tied in, the beauty of it, why it's so good, and how you can use it to basically have a concept that can attack any level of the defense and in situation. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to this channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about the New England Patriots playbook, and we're going to be focusing our time on the trips tight end formation, discussing the play PA slot corner. Now, the beauty of this play and this concept is you really don't necessarily have to have a hot route master. You certainly can, but you don't necessarily need it for the combination that we're going to create in this video, which is good enough to basically beat any defense in this game. Now, real quick before we go any further, I do want to let you know that I do have a full Trips Tight End ebook available in our Patreon membership. If you are not a Patreon membership or a member yet, I want to let you know that it's only $10 a month to sign up. And the cool part about it is you're not only going to get access to the Trips Tight End ebook, you're actually going to get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. We've got 15 ebooks in the membership right now that you would get access to, as well as any additional ebooks or updates to those ebooks, which we update the Patreon pretty much two to four times a week with new material uh, while your subscription is active. The other cool part about it is it's only a month to month thing, so you don't have to sign up for a year or anything. You certainly can. It will save you a little bit of money to do that. Um, but it's a great little deal. It's also a great way to support me as a creator. So if you are interested in doing that, there will be a link in the description of the video where you can sign up after we're done. But let's take a look at this PA slot corner and the setup. So what we're going to do with this concept and really ideally what we want to do um, is we want to run this. You can, you can run this on either hash. It's really not hash dependent. Um, but real simple setup here. Literally, we're just going to smart route the triangle receiver. Um, this drag, you can either leave him on a drag or you can put him on a five yard in route. That's up to you. I typically just leave him on the drag route. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna streak our tight end. We're going to curl our uh, circle receiver here, Godwin. And then we're gonna put our running back on an out route and we're gonna motion the curl to the numbers. And we're gonna snap the ball kind of right in this little area. The beauty of this concept is it gives you this curl flat concept as a check down in case anything goes wrong. Now, if you want to help the spacing of the play a little bit, uh, one of the best ways to do that is by putting the outside receiver on a smart routed, or not a smart routed, but a, um, a little five yard in route. So you see here, this is what the play looks like. The cool part about this is your first read is always your seam streak. If that's not open, then now you're working your levels concept Notice something real quick about this play. Um, notice something real quick about this concept, and that is that this little drag or this little underneath concept or uh, route does uh, typically get underneath almost every zone in the game. They're going to have to shade underneath to get underneath on that, and the beauty of that is it's going to open up your curl and it's going to open up your post. So you see here, you're looking here. Okay, they take the under, so I can throw that right in that little window right there. Now, the way most people are going to be playing in Madden 22 is they're going to want to run some 3-3-5 wide with the Mike Blitz 3. Uh, and I'll just show that coverage really quickly here. Again, we're just going to run the same exact setup. And the beauty of this is really, really simple, right? Really, really simple. So we're, going, uh, we're looking to that tight end. Now, the cool part is against cover 3, because we motion that receiver across the formation, Oftentimes, cover three is going to struggle uh, to defend this. And so what you're going to get a lot of times uh, with players is they are going to want to go ahead and basically play you uh, like this, where we have kind of a Mabel concept to the backside. We have a little cover two style concept to this, this front side here. And then we're going to use her in the middle of the field with our user. Now, that's probably the best coverage that you could really use against a concept like this because it will do a little bit better at defending this tight end vertical. But the other thing that you're going to have is you're going to have that post coming in behind it. And that post is one of the most underrated routes in this game and really one of the keys uh, to this to this concept. So again, let me show you. We're going to go to Mike Blitz 3. We're going to deep half. And then we're going to, uh, now for sake of illustration, I'm going to use her that, uh, I'm going to kind of mimic that by manning him up on the skinny post just to kind of imitate 
um, you know, them using this route. Uh, again, you do have your curl. Your curl is your ultimate check down. It's a route that you can always count on. Um, but you're going to look real quick to the tight end and real quick to the flat. If they give that to you, you're going to take it. If not, then you're going to be able to take, you know, take your drag or you can take that curl, um, that curl route to uh, Chris Godwin. So again, I'll show that to you one more time. And I'll show you one other way you can run this concept in just a second. But let's say they, they give you a coverage that looks kind of like this. Notice where your curl's at on the field. You see how the running back is going to pull everything out, and you're going to be able to hit that. Now, if you want to, you don't have to use an out route. You can, if you have a backfield master, uh, you can use this little table route. Now, why would you want to use that? It just gets out there a little quicker, um, and so it's just going to space the field a little bit better. The drag's more of a check down. If they're putting a lot of energy into defending the corners in the middle of the field, then you might want to hit that drag. But again, this is one of my favorite concepts in the game. Now, lastly, I want to show you the same concept, but I want to show you just a slight variation of how we're going to run this, um, and that is from the play drive post. Now, drive post is kind of honestly a pure, what I would call a pure levels play in terms of how it's actually the routes are going to be designed and work together uh, to get open, and it's really one of my favorite concepts. So what we're going to do with this is basically the same thing. We're going to streak this tight end. We're going to, uh, I like to spot route Chris Godwin. You don't have to. I like to because I want him to get as vertical as possible before he cuts inside. So I'm going to smart route him. And then with Scotty Miller, we're going to put him on a curl. And the running back, we can put on a flat route or a out route. And what you're going to notice with this is the exact same progression, but I want you to watch this in route. Notice that purple is going to follow it a little bit more than we really think it should. In this year's game, for whatever reason, the purple zones play really, really weird against um, you know against something like this. Let's say, for example, that we went with this kind of setup right here. You'll notice that that purple is uh, actually going to still fall inside, and the flat's going to be wide open. So it's just one of those fluky things about Madden 22. However, it is still very, very effective, and the reason why is because on the back side of this, again, you know, this play has two sides to it, okay? It's not just one-sided. So we're looking tight end, no, post, no, in route, no, curl. Yeah, we can take that. Okay, we'll take it. Part of being a really, really good quarterback in Madden 22 is understanding your reads and your progressions and taking what the defense gives you. Taking what the defense gives you. I think it's one of the most important things that I could teach anybody about offense in this game if you are willing to take what the defense gives you you will be a very very good player now um, another co coverage I want to walk through just real quick is the cover two what you'll notice here um, is this is going to be a little bit easier to hit this little yet this little in route it's typically very very good against cover two because you're dealing with cloud flats and vertical hook assignments what most people also like to do when they blitz this year is they like to run it out of a cloud flat or a cover two. What I mean by that is now you're going to get these hard flats on the outside. So they're trying to take away, you know, those quick flat routes and then they're trying to kind of use everything over the middle. Well, the problem with that is notice that that in route is not going to get followed and I can hit that consistently. So this concept really does have a lot of value and it's, it's truly one of the most underrated concepts in the game this year. Um, I don't know of anybody that's really running something like this. But this little play right here, um, if you can read it really quickly, you can really kind of figure it out pretty quickly and work the right side of the field and then just take your reads. So thanks for watching the video. This is just one little snapshot of the Trips Tied In ebook. If you want to get the entire Trips Tied In ebook or if you want to get all of my ebooks for that matter, join our Patreon. For just $10 a month, you're going to get access to 15 Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides in addition to any additional guides that we release uh, over the course of the time your subscription is active, as well as any updates that we put out to any of the current guides or the new eBooks or just some of the exclusive tips and stuff like that. So the bottom line is $10 a month gets you access to everything. So if you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description of this video and click the link that I put down there and you can go check out that membership.